all right what's good everybody it's your boy call like so and as you'll see we're today we're back here with another movie video and today we are coming here with the new characters of the demon slayer team a lot of new characters have come out and like they're just fire i'm not gonna lie i just want to showcase them because these new demon slayer characters are very exciting to me i kind of like watching them and feel me I, I feel like now that i'm posting more things on the channel i kind of want to just do what i like feel me I, I like watching certain things i want to post the tournament i like watching the tournament so feel me i've been posting a lot of the tournament but today we're coming here with just showing the new demon slayer characters showing what they got showing some new cool things about them and we're going to be doing two different battles here today video we're going to be doing rengoku versus um tomioka and then sonami against tokito so y'all get to see all four of the new people on the team and i feel like that's a that's a good amount of fights feel me? but yeah that's everything for today as y'all see, if y'all did see in the video last time, they are pretty damn clean. I'm not gonna lie, these characters are fire. They put combos and they have they don't have too much health, they're not too tanky, and they're not bad in my opinion. I like the characters. But um they are very similar to each other. They um well a little bit in terms of like, you know, they're both demon slayers and how they fight and everything, but I think Rengoku's a little bit more aggressive than uh Tomioka. The um also, these characters were patched a little bit just to make it so they don't heal a lot. Like how they did in the video, they were cleaned up just to make them a little bit better, a little bit more, you know, effective. They also were nerfed down a little bit more as well. But, um, so right now we get an even ass fight. And it's just like, I'm not gonna lie, it's very even. I'm not even gonna cap. I, I just, this is the type of fights we like to see. But let me know down below how y'all been like messing with the tournament, how it's been going. Do y'all, have y'all been fucking with everything and just like, Shit, what do y'all want to see in the future from this channel, man? As you'll see, I'm playing all types of different games now. We're not just playing just Mugen. We're gonna be playing ABA on the channel. I'm gonna post ABA every single day. I'm trying to get triple uploads every day. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It takes up some time. You feel me? You gotta be committed. It has been a little bit hard for me to post all three videos every single day. But feel me, uh, it's not hard to the point where it's like I can't do it. It's definitely it's just you know work. And I, I look at YouTube as a job. So you gotta put, you know, gotta put the grind in sometimes in life. You gotta be able to you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? I don't I don't mind putting that grind in. But right now, Rengoku just popped his um his uh sit your heart ablaze mode. As you'll see, he got the flame. He also is gonna have burn damage as well now. So um but Tomioka is still kind of like dominating, which is kind of very surprising. But now Rengoku also has the burn damage going off on Tomioka. And I feel like that's one of the strongest things in the tournament, bro. It's just constant little bits of damage that is very useful. And uh, he's just, he's just so useful, like I said. And Rengoku takes round one against my boy Tomioka. Great match, 29 seconds on the clock. Tomioka didn't get to pop his Slayer Mark that time, which is kind of sad, but feel me. You, you, you can't always get it which is not surprising to me you can't always get him and i do love um how my boy puts that work in now rengoku already losing a little bit of health my boy tomioka still has the most amount of health in this match tomioka has some really strong attacks that do just crazy amounts of damage like his uh i always forget what the name of the move is but his one move where he um like you know drops the water on the ground and like you know his main move the one that only one that tomioka has himself i love that move that move is just fire to me but yeah i want to see some more of a uh, rengoku i want to see some more tomioka there's a lot of characters that i want to see inside of this tournament and i feel like demon slayer has a real good chance i'm not gonna lie i've seen people in the comment section saying off rip they were like i don't think uh demon slayer can win they're not a bad team but like I just seen them talking like um saying that they can't win, which is actually surprising to me. I don't know. Me and my my opinion, I think that they might have a chance. But like obviously you never know how it can go. You never know what's gonna happen in these tournaments and what's gonna happen in these fights. So honestly, like I said, you just, it's, it's literally just a wager all the time. But Rengoku went into his fire mode. Tomioka's bleeding burnt I mean in burn damage again. Oh, there we go. Tomioka now popped his slayer mark and he's just doing constant damage i'm not gonna lie they're both putting in great amounts of damage they both have like some you know some decent amounts of yo i'm not gonna lie i, lo I love seeing tomioka's little slayer mark boat though it's just he doesn't have nothing like that burn or anything like that like Goku does but he's just a he's a demon he, he's, he's definitely somebody to be reckoned with and oh my god okay there we go and that's one thing, especially when they get in their Slayer Marks, they just get so much, like, not more tanky, but they just, they, they definitely do have some more defense. They have some more offense as well. And they're so much more aggressive. I think Rengoku still might have this one in the bag just because his constant burn is just taking away the same amount of health that he's losing. 
and then if he does do damage it's just like triple the damage basically Rengoku still winning Tomioka is blitzing Rengoku down but Rengoku is you know with that burn damage five seconds on the clock I don't think Tomioka can win this one anymore and shit yeah there goes my boy Rengoku takes two rounds let's get into the second fight all right, and I just got from my boy JT, as I've been making the video, he just sent me some more characters, like, you know, just nerfed versions of these characters a little bit better, a little bit more clean, and they and he said they work better. So I'm definitely going to be adding those characters as well. So obviously you guys are seeing um how they look as of now, and, and I, I think they're still really good as of now. But right now we got Sonami and my boy Togito, another, you know, match for the ages. And these are the two stronger people. They're both a little bit stronger than um than the other two that we had. And I, I think that they're both pretty clean. They're both pretty, like I said, they're both a little bit stronger, which will probably be a, probably be better for the tournament anyways. But yeah, right now, I'm not gonna lie. Sonami is dominating. He's like destroying Tokito. His damage is insane. He's putting Tokito underwater. And Sonami is the strongest on the Demon Slayer team. He's the strongest, you know, in theory, he's the strongest by Hashiras in the show. But now we got Tokito with his Slayer mark. And he's still getting dominated by a Sonami with no Slayer Mark. Sonami's damage is just beyond. I don't know if that's Tokito's defense or if that's Sonami's damage. But Sonami just completely no diffed him. Like, that was like, that was, shit, that was embarrassing. I'm not even going to cap. I'm not even going to lie. I didn't expect him to do nothing like that. That's insane. And, shit, I'm not going to lie. My boy Sonami is coming crazy this video. I cannot even cap. Okay. I don't think Tokito has a chance now that I've seen that. That's fake crazy. But um, he might still, you know. I, he, I feel like because that's one thing he has his little mist mode. That's what makes Tokito so much stronger than most characters. With his little mist mode, he uh, he's able to do a lot more damage, go a lot more crazy. And that's one thing about Tokito. He has things in his kit that lets him, you know, make his comebacks. So we might get something out of Tokito. He might be able to do it. But let me know down below like i said what y'all think of this demon slayer team sonami takes the w again and that's it for this video man like i said it was a short video it was a quick video i just want to show you guys these characters talk about them a little bit i think that they're insanely fire i'm happy demon slayer is finally getting a little bit of love but hey man they always been getting love but they're getting more love and i you know there's nothing wrong with some more love but hope you'll enjoy man iso game we got more videos coming very very soon man y'all know like i said every single day we're not stopping with the videos and I'm excited to bring more to you guys. So I hope you all enjoy. I saw gang. We out of here.